Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how to hit your ground strokes harder by initiating and using the momentum of the body better. And I want to give you a really simple reference, which if you follow, will give you more speed in your forehand and your backhand almost immediately. Now we know that the kinetic chain of the ground strokes is that the stroke begins with the body, follows with the arm, and then the racket, and then the racket leads pulling the arm and the body through. This is the same on the one-handed backhand, it's the same on the two-handed backhand. But the initial driving force from the body can be very passive and neutral, or it can be very dynamic and powerful. And no matter what your age or what your level, the more dynamic and powerful you make that initial movement, then the more successful and powerful your stroke is going to be. Quite simply, you're going to get more power without needing more racket speed. More racket speed is great, but that means the timing is more difficult and you're more likely to make errors. So if we can get power without great racket speed, it really is a wonderful thing. And to do this, I want you to simply think about pushing and pulling. Now, when I think about pushing something, I think about pushing a resistance that's ahead of me. And when I think about pulling something, I think about pulling from behind me. I know I can pull this way, but if I'm hitting in that direction towards the court, then pushing is a resistance in front of me and pulling is from a resistance behind me. So in the forehand, you would go into the unit turn and naturally with the unit turn, the right hip has turned away from the target. It might be totally turned away in a neutral stance. It might be just rotated and angled away in an open stance, but still this right hip is pointing over there or over there. It's not pointing over there. And then what I want you to think of, think of the direction it's pointing now, is that as you begin the stroke, you're going to pull forwards and point that hip towards where you want the ball to go. So look, I swing and now I point the hip to you. And I'm pulling forwards to do that. If I think of resistance in front of me, then I'm going to push the hip forwards and it's going to be slow and the leg is not going to help. But if I think of pulling from behind, so I line the hip up and I pull the hip to the target. And if I pull the hip forwards to the direction that I want the ball to go, then the stroke will be really energized. If you relax your arm, the racket will be thrown forward with tremendous power. Really simple concept, but it works straight away. On the backhand, it's slightly more complex because there's a difference between the two-hander and the one-hander. In the two-hander, truly, it's just the same. So again, I rotate around, whether it's open stance, neutral stance, semi-open stance, my hip is pointing away from the target, and now I pull the hip forwards, and when I think of pulling, I get that wonderful leg drive, and the arm and the racket are thrown forwards. In the one-handed backhand, it's a little bit different. We load the weight into the left foot, and then we step and push the front hip forwards. So look, I load the weight, and I step and push and hit. Showing you from this direction, I'm going to show you the one-handed backhand with the push and without. The difference is quite subtle, but makes a big difference. So look, I go into the stroke and I hear and I step. And my hip stays pretty much stationary here. That's not what you see from the best backhands in the world. With the best backhands in the world, you see the step. And now I'm going to push the hip forwards. And I push and see how all my weight is going forwards penetrating the court and delivering energy into the ball. So pull your hip forwards on the forehand and the two-handed backhand. Push your hip forwards on the one-handed backhand and you'll enjoy more power and yet you won't lose control because you're not increasing the racket speed. I hope this makes sense. Let me know how it works in your game. And if you like my ideas, have a look at our books on Amazon. We provide detailed scientific breakdown of the strokes and then super simple solutions such as this with really clear illustrations. So we're really helping for you to make real change to your game. Or if you want more personalized advice, have a look at what we're doing with online coaching. We're helping players in over 30 countries all over the world with a blend of online one-to-one -one lessons and detailed video analysis. For more information on this, email me or have a look at our website. So, Make sure that you're pushing and pulling in the right places. Don't have your hips neutral because they're the driving force of the stroke. Pull for the forehand, pull for the two-handed backhand, push for the one-handed backhand, and you'll have faster, better, and more dynamic ground strokes today.